Hello and welcome back to a brand new Westminster Collection video. My name is Jonathan and today I'm delighted to be bringing you a commemorative that's been produced using a technique only a handful of mints across the world have managed to perfect. This minting technique is actually so intricate it's even considered a fiercely guarded secret. In fact it's so protected you could say that it rivals the secrecy in the wizarding world in the Harry Potter franchise. Okay, that's just a little teaser for what's going to come today in this unboxing video. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, if you haven't already of course, and also turn those notifications on to be guaranteed never to miss any upload from us. When Smart Minting Reloaded was revealed last year, the collecting world was transfixed by its striking composition. This new form of Smart Minting allowed ultra high relief and intricate detail on both sides of the commemorative and at 100% high relief. Basically it means that the quality of the commemorative I'm going to talk to you today about is exquisite. So let's take a look at the design together. There it is, it really is exquisite isn't it? Carefully struck from two ounces of pure silver, the Sorting Hat Ultra High Relief Commemorative features intricate designs on both the obverse and the reverse. Starting with the reverse of the commemorative, we see the famous sorting hat, which of course we all remember, don't we, from the very first film. This sentient magical hat determines which of the four schoolhouses each new student belongs to. You know what, I'd love to know which house you think you belong to. I've always thought I would be in Ravenclaw, I'm quite a curious person, I think I've got a bit of a keen wit as well. Originally belonging of course to Godric Gryffindor, the sorting hat uses a tear along the brim as a mouth to speak out of. And it's this battered rolling leather of the hat which can be seen in intricate detail on this stunning commemorative. Moving to the obverse, we see the famous Hogwarts crest, featuring of course the four houses along with the school motto which when translated from the Latin reads, never tickle a sleeping dragon. Wise words, I think we both agree. But words don't really do this design justice, you truly need to see it to believe it. But there's more. The commemorative doesn't just feature smart minting, it also features Incuse striking. An Incuse strike is another relatively new minting process, only used by a few mints. Basically allows the design to be struck into the commemorative, creating a sunken look as opposed to the standard raised relief. So if I turn this commemorative sideways or on its edge, you can see the depth and dimension that it has with the elements of both the reverse and the obverse design standing out and in at the same time. With a, with a design as striking and as powerful as this, I know that if you're a Harry Potter fan or even a collector of highly crafted collectibles, you're gonna be excited by this. What's more, the double high relief Harry Potter two ounce commemorative is strictly limited. There's only 350 of these in the world. And of course you'll get a certificate of authenticity that secures your place in that edition limit. Time really is of the essence when securing this stunning commemorative for your collection, so click on the link in the description below to guarantee yours and you can even benefit from the option of interest-free instalments of just £29.50 a month. It's been great to get a close and detailed look at this stunning issue. I've certainly got a new level of appreciation for this new form of smart minting and hopefully you've also learned something new from today's video. Do let me know if you have and don't forget to tell me which Hogwarts house you think you might be in and why. Otherwise, look, it's been great for you to join me. We'll see you next time and thanks so much for watching. <laughs>